If you've been to Ashland for the Oregon Shakespeare Festival, you've seen the impact of Paul Allen and his family. This spectacular outdoor stage is named in their honor. They gave money here and more. Well, it's well over $11 million, and I think that it's not, it's the philanthropy and their investment here, but it's also how much they personally have given. Paul himself came every year. His sister Jody was on the board of directors when the Thomas Theater was built, so they've had an incredible impact in um, innumerable ways here. Alan traveled here as a boy every year with his mom and sister. He never forgot the place. That's a wonderful thing when something is important enough to a person that if they have a free day or a free couple of days that they kind of get away and come to this place that rejuvenates them. And I always got that sense from him that this was that special place for him. He also gave to medicine, backing two OHSU Alzheimer researchers with a million and a half dollar grant and spending money to install music and video screens for patients waiting up to an hour for cancer screening. The video screens carried Alan's personal photography from around the world. And then there are the Blazers, a team the billionaire bought when he was just 35 years old. We are a small market team, but we had a big market owner. And he never, you know, he never treated the guys here, whether it was contractually, in terms of resources, in terms of, you know, how we traveled, the buildings we played in. We were as big a market franchise as anyone in this league because of Paul. What happens next with the team is an open question, one that management was not interested in answering today. In fact, they won't even say who owns the team. Could you just clarify too, is the team owned by Vulcan or by his estate? Um, I think those details will come out right now. Right now, we don't have all of those details. Um, so there'll be more to come on that. In the meantime, the impact of Paul Allen remains. He's remembered as an owner who loved the process of putting together a team, studied all the game films and scouting reports, and really cared about the players. He loved players. That's why he loved the draft, right? It was, it was about the future, and it was about seeing things other people didn't see, and it was him, like, raising children. You can tell he'll be missed in several parts of our state. He also gave a million dollars to Mercy Corps to help with disasters around the world.